Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore leak in Starlink satellites that is blocking signals from first stars of the universe. Starlink satellites in orbit are becoming a hurdle to space exploration, reports suggest. SpaceX has thousands of satellites hovering above the planet, and they are reportedly leaking radio waves that are preventing telescopes from peering into the early universe, new scientists reported. These telescopes are extremely sensitive and detect faint signals from deep space from the time the first stars formed. A team of scientists in Australia looked at 2,000 Starlink satellites and found that the signals emitted by them could affect up to a third of the data at some frequencies collected by a telescope that is under construction. They also discovered that the Starlink satellites are using two frequency ranges that are protected for radio astronomy. The findings were made using a prototype telescope from the Square Kilometre Array Low Observatory, SKA Low, in Australia. It comprises one lakh small, linked telescopes and is being built to study the ancient universe. Stephen Tingay at Curtin University in Australia and his colleagues tracked the signals from nearly 2,000 Starlink satellites using the prototype. They found that Starlink satellites won't let astronomers gather accurate and complete data on the early universe. The SKA Low Telescope will aim to pick up radio signals from neutral hydrogen clouds that hung around in the universe when the first stars began to form. However, they are extremely faint, and it might not be possible to detect them if Starlink satellites continue to leak these radio waves into space, since the latter are 10,000 times stronger than the signals coming from the ancient universe. Further, the Starlink satellites are emitting signals at two frequency ranges that have been reserved for radio astronomy by the International Telecommunication Union, ITU. However, this seems to be unintentional. If you look at the signal strength produced by these unintended emissions, it's not unusual for them to be comparable to the brightest natural radio sources in the sky, says Tingai. Concerns about SpaceX Starlink satellites posing a problem in the study of ancient galaxies have been raised before. Elon Musk's company has tried to mitigate it by switching off the internet transmitting beams when they fly over key telescopes. However, this hasn't proved helpful. Starlink is currently available in over 100 countries, including the US, Canada, Australia, Japan, Germany, Mongolia, and others. Bhutan is the latest country to join the list. Starlink will start operations in India in the next two months. According to reports, a satellite dish essential hardware will be sold for an estimated INR 33,000. The monthly unlimited data plan will be offered at INR 3000. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.